All right, so what I've got for you today is the Hold Peak HP 760C digital multimeter, and it's pretty standard affair. It comes with a case and a really tiny manual, and of course, the normal set of leads. We've got your probes there. We've got a thermal temperature probe here, and then we've got these two smaller clip lead probes for measuring capacitors, inductors, and so on. All these are pretty much the standard affair. Uh, taking a look at the probes themselves, they are pretty tough to get in to the meter. You have to push pretty hard, and once they're in, they fit so snug that you can move the entire meter by applying a little bit of side force to them. The back contains a compartment for a 9-volt battery to power this up. No battery is included with the kit, so let's get a battery in there really quick and it doesn't fit very snugly, but it fits good enough. On the front, you'll see a really interesting option here. The nice thing about these selectors is that it keeps you from accidentally plugging in something wrong and possibly blowing the meter up. I'm gonna test this with a nine volt battery, so let's check this out against this Fluke meter that I've got here. I'm measuring 9.59 on the Hold Peak, and now I'm measuring 9.603 on the old Fluke. So I'd say it's fairly accurate. Here's the beep test to see if it can check for continuity, and it does appear to be working pretty well. Let's go ahead now and check some capacitors. This is a one microfarad capacitor and it's measuring 1.4. This is a 47 microfarad capacitor and it's measuring 39.6. Both of those are pretty close. One note on capacitors is that you're limited to 200 microfarads, so no 1000 microfarad capacitors. We've also got the standard affair of test selections on this unit, as well as a NPN and PMP transistor tester. So if you want to check out those transistors, you can make sure they're biased correctly. Now, testing out the thermal probe here, I've got a cold glass of water and I've got the temperature warmed up to 32 degrees. Drop this in and watch the temperature drop. One thing to note about the temperature probe is that you are limited to Celsius. So if you're a Fahrenheit user, this is probably going to be slightly frustrating for you when trying to take temperature measurements. Uh, the backlight works really well, as you can see. I can light this up and it's easy to see in a dark area. And the LCD is nice and big. Overall, pretty decent meter for $40. Wish it had Fahrenheit and wish that the probes fit a little bit better. But other than that, great bang for the buck.